Hello, this is Tough Love, and a teenage girl shares her thoughts and ideas through a diary, but I shared my thoughts and ideas to strangers over the internet over video game gameplays. Um, and I love it! <laughs> I don't know if I get some sick sense of desire or something out of it, but you know what? I enjoy it. Everyone wants to be loved, and maybe that's what I'm seeking over the internet. Um, but I don't want to sound so calm right now, but I am. I'm in almost like a zen state, but as I say that, I'm also kind of sad. I'm not depressed at any means, but I'm kind of sad because it feels like a thing in my life that has always been a good thing. Uh, it's kind of turning bad, so I'm having to kick it out and then leave place for even better things to come. So it's sad, but at the same time, it's hopeful for uh, something to look forward to. So it all started a while ago where uh, like a new guy joined my friend group, which is perfectly fine. Variety, entertainment, it's great. But he's never really liked me. All right, so these aren't my words at all. Uh, he cheated on, well, yeah, I have this friend and it's his friend, but he kind of had a thing with this friend. So he cheated on her pretty badly with this other girl. So she felt the need to get a little bit of revenge by telling me that he was jealous of me, which I don't, I'm trying not to say, trying not to sound conceited when I say that, but those are her words. And another thing, cheating is... <laughs> probably my pet peeve um i've never been cheated on well as far as i know they don't mean move on because i'm apparently a terrible person and hated by everyone <laughs> that sounds miserable i'm really not so don't feel bad uh um so cheating is basically you have no self power you cannot control yourself you have no self-control and do i respect someone who's cheated absolutely not it's just hurts everyone involved. I've been lucky not to have it um, affect me with my parents because my parents are a little too um, good. I don't want to say good, but that's probably what it is. They're a little too good for that. So that's my tangent about cheating. Um, back in the commentary. So she told me he was a little uh, jealous of me. So he's always not liked me. And um, therefore, I don't mind him, but I don't like him because... He is mean to me because he hates me. Um, I don't understand why, like at football, where he's crazy athletic, I'm pretty darn athletic. I'm a little faster, which must be what he's jealous of. He has so much going for him. He's not dumb by any means. He is very attractive. No homosexuality intended, but that's just past experience. Uh, and he's also crazy athletic and good at football and ridiculousness. So I don't understand why... When he wants to compete, he comes over and races next to me. I beat him, and he hates me for it and resents me for it and likes to talk about my back because of it. So I obviously have no respect for him, so then I don't like him, and then he doesn't like me even more, and it's a terrible cycle. But as he joined my friend group, um, he kind of, I don't want to say stole friends from me, but him and a couple of my friends created an isolated group almost where they are, it's kind of pathetic. They are like his grunts. If you picture a 90s movie where the really stereotypical school bully and then his two followers trying to be exactly like him and just snicker at his jokes and stuff like that, that is basically what is going on here. Um, we had a bonfire today and they showed up and they weren't really invited, but no one's going to say go home. So they showed up and a lot of people didn't want them to be there, but that's okay. Um, we try to have fun, so... Okay, uh, pushing on. <laughs> um, like a neighbor kid was there who no one was really paying attention to. He said, someone play volleyball with me. So I was like, all right, dude, I'll come play volleyball with you. Because he kind of reminded me of my little cousin, and I like to watch out for my little cousins. And I kind of got the soft spot, soft spot for the little boy. Uh, that's <laughs> that sounds horrid, but uh, all right, the protective nature. We'll go with that. Um, so I went over and played volleyball with him. And then he made a little snicker to his two grunts about how I'm trying to look good in front of other people by paying attention to a little boy. And that makes me mad more than anything just because of how much ignorance and naivety. Well, he's being naive. I don't know how to say the actual word. And how naive he is because he cannot picture a person who doesn't have ulterior motives. See, I'm trying to help this boy. Maybe not out of any help to me, just because he wants to feel attention. Everyone wants to be loved. 
which is basically why I'm not really feeling these friends anymore because I'm not feeling needed, I'm not feeling loved. And this kid wanted to feel needed. We had a guy, we also had a bonfire yesterday. Um, and there's a guy coming who, he's coming to our school for the first time next year. So he didn't know anyone there at the bonfire really. And uh, he asked if they wanted if they wanted him to bring a pizza. And everyone said, no, no, that's okay. Don't go to the trouble. But I said, hell yeah, bring a pizza. First of all, I get a pizza and he gets to feel wanted and needed. And that's what all he wanted. He wanted to feel accepted. He brought a pizza. He got rewarded for it. It is great. <laughs> um, so I don't feel needed with these people. But I wanted this boy to feel wanted. Want, someone wants to play volleyball with him. Someone over and play with him. And he, they were talking about how I, I had ulterior motives behind it. And that's just a shame. I, I have empathy for people who just can't picture someone who doesn't do ulterior motives. But at the same time, they're probably thinking that because they do always have ulterior motives and they don't want to picture someone who doesn't because then that would mean that person is better than them which is what i am i am better than them and then i said it aloud and it feels good so hang out with people who actually make me feel good and wanted this has been tough love